Now we have another video from Intel. We are instinctually curious, ambitious, with lofty goals and an innate need for community. And occasionally, with aspirations that extend far beyond our planet. We live in a world where our accomplishments are measured not by medals or ribbons, but by the altitude of our ambition. Ambition to contribute and collectively affect positive change. It's here, as part of the global open source community, that innovation flows most freely. Innovation that has been gathering momentum in the cloud. Cloud environments developed on OpenStack and optimized for Intel architecture. The OpenStack community has enjoyed meteoric growth. In only a few short years, OpenStack has become the launchpad for open cloud creation. And through Intel's heritage of open innovation, we're helping create massive developer clouds, scalable clouds, resilient clouds, simpler clouds, networking clouds, accelerated clouds, for everyone. It's in this open environment that Intel is helping unleash tens of thousands of new clouds, and a diverse range of global customers are reaping the benefits. Intel inside. Infinite possibility outside. In a second, we're going to hear from several Japanese users, and they're going to be speaking in Japanese. So uh, English speakers, find your headsets now. But first up, we are going to hear from another one of our uh, board members and uh, vice president and GM at Intel, Imad Sousa. There you go. Hi, good morning, everyone. So, um, so six months ago at the OpenStack Summit in Vancouver, I spoke about um, Intel's vision. Intel's vision that the cornerstone of the modern data center is, is software-defined infrastructure. And I spoke that the cornerstone of software-defined infrastructure is OpenStack. Today, I'd like to talk a little bit more about this. And I would like to tell you a little bit more about what we are doing there. When we, uh, when we look at what's happening in the industry, there is general consensus, certainly amongst analysts, that there's going to be some 50 billion devices out there that are connected over the next few years. With, with the vast majority of these devices, connected to the internet and get their applications and services through the internet. And we believe that OpenStack is going to play a central role in this massive growth in both the data center and in IoT. But we also understand that OpenStack is a very young technology that is still you know, fairly hard to use and still needs a lot of work and maturation. Because of this, we at Intel have launched um, a, a new initiative that is called the Intel Cloud for All. And our ultimate objective with Intel Cloud for All is to create and deploy tens of thousands of clouds. We believe that this is doable, and, but it will take a lot of work from all of us to make this happen. On one part, one of the key things that we need to do is to invest, invest in the technology making the technology great and making OpenStack a great platform that is scalable, that is mature. And that takes time, and that takes time, and that takes a lot of effort, and that takes a lot of investment in the OpenStack, in the OpenStack project and in the OpenStack upstream. But we also have to figure out how to align and how to create solutions, deployable solutions, to make that those 10,000s of um, uh, of deployments of the cloud, you know, viable and reality. So I, I want to talk a little bit about some of the things that we are doing in this area. So as part of Cloud for All, uh, a few months ago, we launched the OpenStack Innovation Center in, in, in partnership with Rackspace. 
So the OpenStack Innovation Center has two major components. So the first component is that we are creating an upstream engineering team. So this is not recycled engineers from Intel who are just reallocated to the OpenStack Innovation Center. These are new engineers that we are bringing on that are completely dedicated to the development of the, on the OpenStack project and the OpenStack upstream. And one of the things that we're doing in terms of the working model of this engineering team, which, which by the way, it's already at some like few dozen engineers and that will be growing rapidly. But the, but the development model that we created is that we tied what these engineers do very strongly to the, uh, to the wonderful working group that are part of the OpenStack Foundation. You know, primarily the, uh, the products working group, the enterprise working group, and the telco working group, where literally those engineers in the OpenStack Innovation Center will be taking the wonderful work that's been done by the OpenStack working group and really translating that into real code and, and bug fixes and whatever that needs to happen to satisfy those requirements by those working groups. And it works also the other way. You know, we're expecting and we're pushing our engineering team to also contribute back into those uh, working groups to, to, to better the quality of those requirements and the things that needs to happen as a result of their work in the, in, uh, in the OpenStack project. The second part of the OpenStack Innovation Center is that we are building two data centers with 1,000 servers each of these data centers. And these data centers will be dedicated completely to the development and to, uh, to the testing and scaling of OpenStack project and OpenStack developers. So these data centers will be completely open to, data, to OpenStack developers to use and to test their patches and so on to make sure that these patches are scale. So today I'm very thrilled to announce that one of those data centers is already open and we would love for you to start actually using and testing your patches you know, in, in this big, fairly large data center. So we're very excited about the Open, OpenStack Innovation Center that we kicked off, but that's not the only thing that we are doing. We're doing a lot of other things. Uh, another exciting investment that we have made is our investment in Mirantis, where a big part of this investment is also along the same line of what we are doing with the OpenStack uh, Innovation Center. That is, with a, a strong engineering, engineering collaboration with our partners at Mirantis to, to help make uh, OpenStack enterprise ready. So this is on the upstream and on the work that we are doing with, with the OpenStack project. Now, the other piece of this is that we have to make available full solutions that, that, that are used as commercial solutions that are based on OpenStack. And we have plenty of those. With Red Hat, we are extending our on-ramp on uh, on to the cloud program to create enterprise-ready solutions. And today, Lenovo just joined this program. With HP, we're extending our collaboration with HP to create you know, a large number of POC and customer trials as part of the HP Intel Solution Center. And with Mirantis, where Intel platforms are the underpinning of the, of the Mirantis unlocked appliances, we're happy to announce that Supermicro also joins this program today. And finally, you know, we as Intel have made investments in 99 Cloud and AW Cloud. These are two companies in China who also have joined the Intel Cloud in a Box program. The Intel Cloud in a Box program gives an OpenStack-based solution that's already been deployed with, with over 100 customers in China. And we're thrilled about the progress that we are beginning to make in, in, in these solutions. On the telco side, we, we've, been, we've been focusing mostly on creating, you know, and, and, and on the upstream uh, to help make OpenStack career grade. We launched the Intel Network Builder Fast Track with the, with the objective of deploying and creating end-to-end -end solutions for NFZ and SDN. 
And today we are thrilled to announce that Red Hat is joining our program and, you know, and extending our already very strong collaboration with Red Hat to deliver these great solutions, telco solutions, based on OpenStack. Now, now all of this is great, and every time I speak, I usually like to talk a little bit about innovation. And because it really does matter. And in our industry, innovation does matter a great deal because this is what makes our industry great. And, and this time around, uh, when we were looking at, hey, what, what is it that we should highlight in, the, in our OpenStack uh, Summit keynote? And, and it turned out none of the things that were on the list. It was an item that, it was a, it was a feature uh, that, that actually made a lot of my engineers who, 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 when I said, hey, this is what I want to show, it's like really they rolled their eyes. And they rolled their eyes because like, it's like, hey, Imad, this is not, this is just a bug fix. And, 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 but I do believe that this bug fix is probably one of the best innovation that, that we would like to see more of. And by the way, the feature which was done by the Clear Linux team at Intel is, the, is, is just to take how fast you launch a VM and optimize it, which basically around fixing a lot of bugs, and have it you know, start up in, in four seconds. The reason this caught my, caught my attention is because at the last OpenStack Summit, I, I saw quite a number of demos in, in various talks where somebody would start up a VM. And, and that, you know, starting up that, that, that VM, it would take, you know, I mean, they would start the VM and they would go talk a little bit and, and walk through some slides and have a discussion and 40 seconds later, 50 seconds later, the VM starts. So, so I, I, would like you, I would like to show you this. There's a short video of, of this. Okay, that's it, that's the demo. And, and, and you know, to be quite honest with you, this is the type of innovation that we need. And this is the type of innovation that we want. And this is the type of innovation that we want to reward. And, and, and this is the type of things that will quite candidly will make or break OpenStack. We have got to make OpenStack great. We all depend on it. And, and we are at Intel. We're completely committed to this vision, you know, to making OpenStack great. Thank you very much and have a nice summit. Thank you. Thank you, Ahmad.